Hello and welcome to yet another episode of me watching movies and shows and whatnot. Today we're watching episode 3 of Shogun. So, um, this will be interesting how things pan out. But, um, yeah. I look forward to, you know, seeing how this works out for me. Anyway, um, last time out. A quick recap for any of you that don't have not watched the show. Uh, I've done two episodes. You can check that out on the channel. Uh, last time out, we were introduced to Shogun. We were introduced to a variety of characters, a variety of culture. So today we're going to dive in and find out what's going to happen with some of the characters. Bear in mind, you can watch this. Now, before before I, I start watching this, I, I I guess I should give you a a, a big background. Okay, there's this uh there's this uh British fellow called John Blackthorn, and this uh Lord called uh Tararanga, if I'm saying that name right. Uh, he's uh so he's the one who's supposed to be Shogun. He's the guy uh, above me, uh played by uh the great Sanada, one of the greatest Japanese actors of all time. Uh, now this whole story is um. A taiko passes away, or a lord passes away, basically. And when he passes away, he leaves four, or is it four, four of his regent, regent to look after or to govern his country, to govern Japan, basically, until the heir to the throne is of age. Now, uh, now the Portuguese have sort of uh, brought the Catholic Church to Japan and somehow influenced some of the regions, some of the officials basically whispered in their ears in terms of their trading business and they've made some of these regions or some of these political figures a very wealthy man now when john blackthorn set sails to for japan he's there to destroy and possibly trade with japan himself as a man from britain now of course that in itself starts a whole hellfire he gets captured while he's getting captured um uh the great uh the Lord Tanaranga, I don't know, I have a difficulty saying this guy's name is Japanese, uh, Tanaranga, if I'm gonna say, I'm gonna butcher this guy's name forever, so I apologize on that front, anyway, so, he is the, so he, he and uh, this uh, Blackthorn fella work together towards the end of the season, he tells him, uh, that the Portuguese haven't been up front with everybody, they've been lying, and with those lies, uh, there's an assassination attempt, and with that assassination attempt, uh, the assassin is killed, and then Blackthorn tells this uh, Lord Tanaranga fella that people are trying to kill me because I know this and that and that. Of course, I know he's lying. You know he's lying if you're watching the show with us. Now, this episode came on the 5th of March. I was supposed to do an episode then, but I've been a bit busy, so I'm doing the episode today, and bear in mind the second, the fourth episode will come out on the 12th of March. Now, uh, without any further ado, let me just watch this and, uh, you know, without wasting time. So, for any of you, uh, a bit of uh, Japanese and a bit of uh, English is spoken throughout the show. If you have a problem with that, I don't know what's wrong with you. Anyway, let me watch. So ideally, this is one of the best shows ever.
It's gonna be a war here somehow. Something bad's gonna happen. I just know it. I gotta tell you that you know the world building, the the the, the stages, the the set they've put together. It's out of this world, man. It's amazing. Boy, am I sweating. Bear in mind, last episode, there was an attack on this guy's house, so. First things first, he's got to find out who's at the bottom of it. Who's trying to get him killed. And why he's trying to get killed. I, I don't know, you know. I already know why he's trying to get killed. Because that Blackthorn fella has information. And, of course, Mr. Tanaranga is, you know, is the most clear path man to becoming the leader so that in itself is a scary feeling oh shit i'm gonna have to stop streaming i'm gonna i'm having a few problems here so i'm gonna stop the stream here so and then I'm going I'm to upload this later. I'm going to keep watching, but I'm going to stop streaming. So I apologize for that. I'll upload a video of this whole watch along. So the stream will end here. Remember to subscribe and whatnot. I apologize, folks. I really apologize. Bear with me. Bear with me. But hey, if you're still here with me, that means you've so somehow managed to uh, stick around with your
this is really one of the best shows I've seen in a while about historic events. Like I said, if you want something similar caliber, go watch Marco Polo on Netflix. Marco Polo is about Genghis Khan, by the way. God damn, God damn it, this show is phenomenal. Phenomenal. They got they got ships, they got katanas, they got guns, I suppose. Mm, some people are considered to be pirates and what no. Oof. I apologize. Epic stuff. Shogun. <laughs> okay, today's episode is called Tomorrow is Tomorrow, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm too quiet for too long, nigga, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in this, man, I'm in this, man. <laughs> Like, I'm so into this, bro.
they're taking the agent or black fawn somewhere. And he's and he's going with Mareko. Mareko, Mareko, something like that. What's going on here? I feel like I should explain because I've been way too quiet for way too long. So let me let me quick give you. So you know, they're leaving Osaka, and uh, Lord Tanaranga sneaked into one of those contraptions they use to carry noble people. I forgot what they call little carriages. And with that sort of thing, he sneaked into those little carriages after there was an inspection, and they saw there were women in the carriages, and they're like, "No, you you niggas can pass through." Anyway, long story short, they get to the gate that leaves Osaka, and another security. Inst 
security check really says you niggas can't pass here without us checking and verifying who's in part of your party. And my man Black Thorn already knew that Lord Tanaranga is in one of the 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 the, the, the courages or the contraptments or the, the you know the thing that ships people from one place to another the nobility what what carriages things and he starts losing his mind. And some people say, is he the only man in this quarters? Why are these people so vulgar? Why are they always trying to look up on women and whatnot? Because he knows that the Lord is in that thing. And the unbeknownst to everybody within the party, they don't know that their Lord is within the contraption thing, within the carriage. So they're like, why is this Aijin, why is this gringo trying so fucking hard to risk our lives? Little did they know, your boss is in there and this man is saving all your asses. Okay, the party has been hijacked by a bunch of unknown merchants and whatnot. They're throwing flaming arrows and they, they've been ambushed, my friend. And now, the Lord Tanarang finally gets out of that courage thing. And everybody sees like, <gasps> Father, what are you doing here? So it's finna be interesting how this pans out. They're still trying to kill Blackthorn because he knows everything about everybody. This is an interesting show indeed. I don't know why everybody isn't talking about this.
Okay, my dudes managed to escape to the shoreline or to the harbor, if you want to call it that way. They just stole the Portuguese vessel, the black sails, the one with black sails, that's supposed to be taking shit to Portugal that they stole or traded with the Japanese people under false pretenses. Now, my man Blackthorn is on this vessel. He's with everybody. Tell around that everybody's on that vessel. And we just saw a man die a heroic death. Alone at the harbor with his sword or his katana. Killing all sorts of dudes with ease and possession. This show is really great. Anyway, everybody's on the ship now. Let's see what happens. the hell? Hold on a sec. I've got a little bit of crisis here. Uh, I'm bloody hell. Issues with my...
Okay, my man Tanaranga is gone. He and Black Thor managed to escape the harbor. Uh, Tanaranga sent his resignation letter that he's no longer wants to be a regent. Now, they wanted to impeach him, but apparently for someone to be impeached or any major political decision to take place, there need to be five regent leaders of all provinces. And now that he's no longer regent, there are only four. That means they need to find a fifth one. Now, they can't find a fifth one when my man still owns the property that he owns. The only way they can get a new region, that's my calculations, I could be wrong, is this nigga dies. Now, I don't know how they're going to kill him because he's, he's sailing away with Black Ford and they having the time of their life. Now, they, they're heading to Edo, my nigga.
This Tararanga guy think he slipped. He was he told Blackthorn teach me how to swim. Made him do a couple of dives, getting his ass tired. Once this nigga tired, he's like, now let's race to the shore. Is that how old leaders in the town did that? They get you tired, exhausted, and then they say let's have a race while you tired and they fresh off the boat. That's crazy. Well, I can't wait for episode five, by the way. I mean episode four rather. Um, yeah, this was interesting. Uh, my thoughts on the whole episode as a whole. Uh, a few interesting factors. Um, Lord Tanaranga is no longer captive or held prisoner at Osaka Castle. He's heading for Ido, which is pretty cool on that regard. Um, my man Blackthorn is no longer a prisoner. He's a guest now. He's uh, on a boat. They're heading towards Ido. Uh... Michael's husband is dead, but she's cool. She's talking to English with this dude. Um, the Portuguese have left uh, the Osaka shoreline. They're heading back to Portugal. And on top of that, um, Lord Tanaranga promised uh, the Portuguese church that he would allow them to build a church in Ido. I don't know if that's a good idea, but it was a smart negotiative tactic to get him you know, to get on board their ship so they could escape, whatnot. So, overall, I enjoyed it. Overall, it was good. So, I say, come on, y'all. Come watch this all together. That was awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I'd like to say thank you to my 205 subscribers at the time of this recording. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, if you're new here, remember to subscribe and like and share the page. And of course, I'd like to say thank you to everybody who's with me. Adios, folks. Adios. It's been a